Okay, the next step in the building process is to test mount the wing so that it's in the right position to measure the distance between the tip of the wing and the tip of the um, elevator on both sides of the airplane to make sure the uh, elevator is going to be square. I'm going to be using a long three foot metal ruler. I'm going to be measuring from this tip down to this tip on both sides. But before we can do that, we need to make sure that the wing is properly mounted. I'm going to take these back off. They are not glued on yet. <clears throat> and I'm um, um, also going to take the wing off. It's just sitting here. Okay. And Assembling the wing together is uh, obviously fairly simple. You got this wing tube in here, and the only thing I'll caution you on is this: uh, this wing is delicate. These ribs are uh, not as strong as you might think. You can crush them by squeezing too closely, too hard. So when you go to put the wing together, my suggestion is. To hold it by the center if you can. Okay. Um, take the wing tube, put it all the way in one side. This center section here is harder wood and easier to hold. So put the wing tube in, then grab this section and slowly slide it in and make sure that the wooden dowel that's down there uh, gets put in. And um, so now the wing is together. Um, hold it by the center of the wing. And I'm going to move this airplane back a little so you can see it. <coughs> um, now, uh, actually, before I put the wing on there, I want to show you one other point. The uh, two um, nylon nuts that are in here where the nylon screws go in, I want you to start the nylon screws on both sides, screwing them in, you know, maybe a quarter or third of the way, just to make sure that the nylon screws um, and the nuts that go with them screw in easily. Okay, so the, they do that. Take those back out. Um, usually the nylons are pretty sturdy. Nylon uh, nuts and, and bolts are fairly sturdy, but uh, you always want to test that first. Okay. And the next thing to do is mount the wing, and you got this tab right here in the front, and there's a slot in the cabin that it goes in side of the cabinet just slides in the slot okay and then this is a fairly tight fit okay you can hear it just fitting in there and you want to make sure that the um, uh, this section here where the nylon bolts go through um, is even because you can tw you can twist this wing either side so you just have to make sure that the that this looks even and centered. Okay? And the next thing to do is take a flashlight and shine it down in there and see if you can make sure that the uh, nylon nuts are visible. Okay. And what I see is although they're visible, um, the angle of the hole in the wing is not going to allow me to screw it in. The angle is the, it's up there slightly so if I try to turn this back to get in there the, the, they will cross thread. So um, these holes in the wings are just not exactly where they should be. Um, and you got to make sure that the wing, the back side of this wing is centered and so um, 
you got to measure. Uh, let me go get my small ruler. All right, I had to go find the small ruler. And what I'm going to do is measure um, both sides of this and make sure that, okay, so this from the fuselage is sticking out 3 sixteenths and this one is sticking out uh, just 2 sixteenths. I need to move this over just slightly. Okay, so that's just 2 sixteenths and a bit more. 2 sixteenths and a bit more. So that's now centered. What I'm going to do is take a fine tip marker and just mark a little spot on the fuselage where the crack is in the, in the two wings. And that way you'll know um, when you go to screw in the wing, and I might make that bigger later, you know exactly the center of the um, the wing is centered on the fuselage but the problem right now is those holes are not exactly in the right place so I'm going to take this wing apart so I make it easier take the tube out and I'm going to hold it and I'm going to use a round file. Let me show you what the file looks like. It's a, it's a round file. It's got a hex uh, end on it. Uh, but it's just a small uh, wooden file that's round. So what I'm going to do is um, the nut is up into the right a little on this one. Actually up into the right on both of them. So I'm going to sit here and also be careful because you've got the um, uh, horns on this not to uh, poke anything with it. I'm going to set it on the top of the fuselage here. It'll be fine. And uh, just enlarge the hole on the upper right side. take much and you're, doing it. you're trying to do it at an angle that's vertical to match the, uh, the vertical relative to this part of the wing um, okay um, so that the um, No, nope, just a little bit more. Okay, so because this is balsa wood, you um, uh, it doesn't take a lot of strokes to to get that right. So what I'm going to do now is reassemble the wing, put it back on the airplane, move it all the way forward on the cabin, push it down where my center mark is, and take my flashlight. It's uh, not quite there. Let me try it. Nope, not quite there. Um, I moved it up en enough, but in reality, it's uh, a little more to the left than what I thought. So I'm going to be working to the left side, so I'm up far enough, I just need to get it over some. And then we'll do the other wing. So this is just the fine tuning and fitting. Don't don't poke.
smoke your airplane with a fire. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to file from the other side here. Actually, what I'm doing here is filing the covering off. I may have to take a razor blade and file that. I may have to take a razor blade and cut that covering off because the covering doesn't seem to want to file as well as the uh, as the. Uh, okay, I think that one's going to be. Close. We start on the second half here, and on this half we're going to be going. Um, up and to the right. <coughs> Set the wing down on the table. Exacto blade and cut that covering off because uh, it doesn't seem to want to file off very well. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back with my razor blade, but I also while I was um, getting it, I thought of another idea that I'll show you. Um, I've taken the two uh, bolts and screwed them in from the underneath side. Okay, so the bolts are in there, but they're screwed in from the underneath side. That way when you um, test fit the wing see if uh, it makes it a whole lot easier to uh, um, have that just come through and see that see that that uh, hole is now right for that wing. So this one still needs a slight bit more of of um, um, using the rasp on it. The other one, <laughs> I'll show you this. Um, I test fitted the other one and discovered that the um, glue that holds the nut in place. Remember, that's a, that's a nylon nut that. The glue that was holding that nylon nut was basically non-existent. If you look at the bottom of the nylon nut there, there's no glue on it. So I'm going to take this off and uh, glue that back on. And uh, they're pretty much done. Um, and then I'll, I'll get this back together and move on to the next segment. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I have my hot glue gun. And it's hot. The glue's dripping out of it. What I'm going to do is I always have a um, popsicle stick laying around to help me. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've got the, the I guess you'll call it a blind nut. It's a nylon blind nut though. Um, I'm just going to touch some hot melt glue um, to both sides of that blind nut, and I still have the the um, bolt attached to it so I can pull it up. Because the blind nut has a small collar on it, it won't uh, interfere with, uh, with that. So I'm just going to put a small touch of, of hot melt glue and put that down and squish this up and hold it. You can pull it with this, but I just as easily to um, um, I can tell it's squished up because I got hot melt glue on my fingers, 
but uh, uh, I think that's going to work just fine. Doesn't take long for the hot melt glue to cool off and solidify. Uh, okay, that's uh, good. It's in there good and solid. And uh, now we'll do the final um, test fit of the uh, wing. Okay, I'm back and uh, I've given the hot melt glue a sufficient time to dry. By the way, the hot melt glue comes in two kinds. There's a low temperature hot melt glue and a high temperature hot melt glue. I use the low temperature hot melt glue. It, it'll work just fine for the applications that we need. So the next thing to do is see if it all works and fits. So I'm going to put the tube back in this wing. You got this wing. Don't squeeze too hard. Hold it by a rib or if better by the center if you can. Get the wing together, get the um, tab in the front, okay, and then uh, line up our little black mark, sharpie mark, in the center, push that down in, and then I'm going to sight with my flashlight, and both of the holes are right where they should be. Now I'm going to use a large flat washer, okay? Just a large flat washer. I'm going to find if I see if I can find the same hole size so the the nut fits through, but slightly smaller. This is the best one I've got for now. I will see if I can find a smaller washer. This one is actually a little too big. Okay. You want a washer underneath this nut so it applies an even amount of pressure on the. Uh, wood that you're screwing through there. So this washer is too big but uh, I'll find another one before we go flying. Okay, That's down. You want to get both uh, um, my mother nut here or bolt. You want to get both bolts in And these should screw if they don't uh, easily. If they don't screw easily, then you're cross-threaded. You don't want to cross-thread the nylon bolt because then you'll have to get new ones and probably a new nut. Okay, so I'm gonna loosen them both up because it's not quite centered. There we go. Now it's centered. Sixteenth off. Okay, so that's good and tight on there. Now, what I want to do, the reason why we're doing all that is I'm going to put this on and uh, uh, be able to measure from this tip of the aileron to the tip of the um, elevator see if they're the same. That is, a, that is 35 and about a sixteenth. Let's check the other side here. Walk in front of the camera. And this one is... Well, that's not going to work. About... Yeah, okay. It's 35 and a little bit. Uh, I haven't pinned this in. So, um, when we get to the next segment, uh, that's, that's it for getting the wing ready. When we get to the next segment, I'm going to use T-pins to put the uh, horizontal stabilizer in, and uh, then we'll be getting ready to glue it. Thank you. See you soon.